morning. It's Thursday the... I can't tell you because I'm filming on the phone because I forgot the camera. I forgot the GoPro. But, um, it's the last. Oh, it's back on Sunday. So I'm on a little solo job today. The um, I ordered the bricks yesterday, but they're only getting delivered Monday. So I cancelled the order and went and picked them up myself and berries yesterday. So um, I'll switch you around. There you go. Another pack of Chepstone monkeys. Lovely brick these. Oh yeah, got all the bricks. I still need to get the sand cement. Skip, skip the to arrive soon. There's the wall that's coming down. That's going back as a double skin up to there. So it's going to be a lot higher. I'm going to take the pavers out and then patch them back. So for now, we're going to get these lot out and put them close to the wall. <coughs> With the trusty brick tongs, which are in here somewhere. There we are. It's not going to take me long with them. The usual thing, I'll just time lapse this bit as it's a bit dull. So, uh, there's my mixer which has been cleaned. Nice and clean. And then stands, boards over there. Usual gubbins. So once the skip gets here, we'll get stuck in and get it demolished and try and get a bit of brickwork up today. I want to nip off to B&Q and, and get the rest of the sand cement that we need later on when I've got a bit of weight out of the van. Catch you in a bit. Okay, as you've seen on the time lapse, skip has arrived. Probably got about half the bricks out, but I want to put some on the pavement anyway for later to make a start. There you go, that's our wall, which is ready to go. Not going to take much, or I can't just do the uh, the dramatic slow-mo shot because it'll damage the pavement or the block pavers so it's coming down gently so um let's get this thing down Thank 
We're making full use of the skip. We wanted a two, could only get a four. So that's getting filled nicely. Here we go, quarter to ten, wall's gone, everything's out right down to the foundation, even the ant's nest. And we've got about 30 mil at a level. So a couple of blocks to go in here and I'll get some 73 mil brick for the middle. I'm gonna get the rest of the brick out of the van and then head off for the rest of the gear and get, get cracking after dinner probably and get started. I can pull the line straight through off that per, uh, that post because that's bang on plumb, nailing here, so it's just straight through running in. Once I get above that post, I'll bring the uh, the pillar up free hand then. That's the plan today, get it levelled, get the pillar up today, and then just running in tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to nip off. I'll get these out first and then nip off. Catch you in a bit. And we're back. Um, yeah, I went through the rest of the supplies. We, um, <coughs> we need to pick the blues up, so come for them. The cool cat which is in the van. The cool cat which is in the van. And I picked a couple of charcoal block pairs that's going to reduce the size of the drive. Uh, what else? Uh, picked up a few 73 mil brick and a few bits of block from home because I went back for the GoPro which are now filming on. So, Anything up to now has been the phone, so now we're on the GoPro. It's just after 12 o'clock, so all the brick out of the van, everything's out of the van, everything's here lo loaded ready. Just got nuts in, which I'm gauging in buckets. And oh yeah, it's been clean bit of sandwich. So we're not gonna gauge in with this wall because it's not this foundation isn't coarsening in with it. Brands are slow to weird cuts otherwise. So we're just going to go 65 more floor because it drops right down there and it goes to two quarters. So um, yeah, we're not gauging with this. Doesn't matter because it's different brick, different design. So um, just got that cable to get over. Get this mixed in. And while it's mixed in, we're going to have a quick dinner. Have a nice salad on this red hot day. I think it's um, not sure what the uh, temperature is today. We are 26 degrees, but it's, um, it's nice. Um, let's get this mix in and get set up. Right, there's the mix in. And there's a bucket on the board. Lines up. I decided I'm going to course in with this wall. I'll make it work whenever it works. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to get the laser lab out now. And that's going to be our datum now, where it meets that wall. And we'll see how it works.
there you go, levels are in. There's our straight edge. That's our that's level with the wall on the other side. So I can we can run the, the corn block up here. I'll run my line up clamp. Spring through. 130 of its type. Cord to the laser, which means stick now. So it's too very tight down to whatever it is at the same but it runs right down this. So let's get this cord to pick this out and then have a quick reach. Right, it's two minutes to two. I haven't had my dinner yet. More important things to do, get this pig sorted. That's the pig cut out. And that's our work now bending through. So we're going to from this wheel back. And then we're going to make it work half off or whatever it works at this end. And then we're going to patch the block pavers around it after. So we're reducing it slightly. That's what the extra pavers are for. So um, yeah, I'm going to have a quick dinner. Salad down and then um, get back to this. Probably not put another mix on today, um, so more set up for tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's gonna be half two by the time I get out of the van. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll stick the camera on charge.
Friday. Near my favourite time, 7.47. So, quarter to eight, 12th of August. Friday the 12th of August. Oh, that's Friday, I'm Todd. <coughs> Got it all set up yesterday. All the levels in, because that had a course pig in it. <coughs> Got the bond sorted out. Got the gauge sorted out. Got my gauge marked on here. So I'm just string lines this post. I'm going to swap a few bricks to this side now. See, that's where we left it yesterday. The sun is just behind the house at the moment. So we've got a bit of respite from the heat for about an hour. So I'm going to get a good hour in. Um, yeah, got the, uh, the boards up. Stand the stands, ready to go. Just need to get a few bricks around and get this mixing. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, um, getting on for 10 o'clock, just had a quick break. So, first mix gone. As you can see, it's drying really quick. So, need to get speeding up a bit. I'm just putting one bucket out at a time onto the boards. There's no use piling the boards high because it just goes off too quick. It's a bit quite breezy as well, so that makes it even faster. Um, they're a lovely bit, these lovely colours. But yeah, lines up. I'm ready for the next course to go in, so I'm going to give that mixer a spin. And there's a bit, bit left from the last mix. So I'm going to get another bucket on each board and crack on after I pop some cream on.
all finished. We're just on the brick and edge now. So I've got my line set up. So we've got a couple on, I can put the other line on them. And there's a pillar full height we can gear cap on. Looking good. And it's um is And it's just going to sit just underneath here, it was that or just above, would have meant cutting a brick or the pier cap so the customer won't leave just underneath. It's just a nice light anyway. So the plan is get these brick and edge on, tidy up, back tomorrow, just to do the removal bits like fix and these brick uh, block pavers, have a proper tidy up, get us get off site, so nice easy Saturday morning hopefully. So let's get these brick and edge on. Try and get ready for our four. Yeah right. There we go. Another quick try with this because the camera's been overheating today. But there we go. Job done. Looks like it's been yesterday, it's gone off that fast. Just need a quick soak the hose. Yeah, job done. Made up with that. Same style as the last one we did. Right, we're back at the lovely little job for a quick Saturday shift. That's all done. Got a bit of brick acid to go down on the drive for all these little marks I've left on it. <coughs> I'll have later. But for now, we're going to patch in these wet pavers. It's only from there to there. So, um, once it's, once it's um, I'm going to bring the van on the drive, do the cutting out on the road. Because uh, they're all cuts. Um, so, I'll try with the bolster first, see how they get on, but probably end up with the grinder. So, um, stick your um, time up. Set it up somewhere. So I'll set it up somewhere out the way and then um, carry on filming.
to drive a quick brick acid wash. There's the pavement we've patched up. So that's a little bit more sand in there, but there's our wall. Straight in the shade, but within within the shade till after dinner. So there we have it. Well, this is the actual. So, if you enjoyed this wall, this little job, give us a like. If you like what you see on the channel, make sure you subscribe. And then, thanks for watching. This has been Brick Lane with Steve and Alex. Well, Brick Lane with Steve. Catch you in the next one.